NBC Connecticut News at 5.30. Back surgery has come a long way in recent years. For some patients, it doesn't take months to recover anymore. As a matter of fact, for one Burlington man, it just took a day. NBC Connecticut's Lisa Carberg has the story. Being able to walk his dog Jeter is a dream come true for Stan Valinsky. An old football injury left him with decades of excruciating back and leg pain. And as you're stepping on the ground, you're getting pain as if you know you're stepping literally on. It feels like you're stepping on a nerve, and it just so it's a feeling of great frustration. So, how are you feeling? He sought relief from the Greater Hartford Orthopedic Group at St. Francis Hospital. Stan was diagnosed with spinal stenosis. He had compressed nerves in his spine. And you can see this, the 5-1 level is very degenerated. The 4-5 level is more normal. And he had his nerves pinched in these two levels. Stan's orthopedist, David Kruger, shows us his back x-ray before he performed a newer kind of surgery. Dr. Kruger was the first physician in New England trained to use the IOFLEX system, using minimally invasive instruments to go in and take pressure off a compressed nerve. This is a new way to make more room for the nerve in which you don't damage what's called the facet joint, which is a joint in the back of the spine that helps keep the spine stable. These are some of the high-tech IOFLEX tools that doctors use for the procedure that gets patients walking the same day, as opposed to spinal fusion that would have taken them out of work for three to six months. That would require large screws like this, fusion and rods. And gently bring it out. This is now an alternative as Dr. Kruger shows us with a model. A thin wire is fed in, then a small tool that can saw the spine for relief. And the way that we're able to do this is to sneak under the joint and above the nerve and just make more room where it counts without damaging critical structures in the spine. Stan was able to walk out of the hospital the day of his surgery. I couldn't believe it. I said to my wife with a big hug, I had a tear in my eye. I said, honey, I'm walking without pain. And it did feel great. And Lisa goes on to report that since there's a smaller incision, there's less pain, a faster recovery, and less risk for the patient.